Hey worshippers, we're back again with a little teaching. So, so glad to be with you. David Rowe here of David's Heart Psalmist Ministries, Psalmist Academy and House of Prayer. And uh, talking to, to you, just a short uh, little teaching taken from, from my book, On Earth As It Is in Heaven, The Ministry of the Psalmist. And this is available at Amazon.com. Uh, little thoughts that I have that God has given me concerning the psalmist and the worship leader. So we're going to talk this afternoon about uh, the five fingers of psalmist character. So the character of the individual who wants to be a psalmist, who wants to worship lead, who wants to uh, lead the music in your church or cell group or something. These are some things that you need to bear in mind. It's all taken from the five fingers of your left hand, or four fingers and one thumb. Uh, so we start with the pinky. So the little one on the end, it's the smallest, that is humility. So uh, a key ca characteristic that we have to have is humility. Um, the word of God says, Matthew says, uh, he who will be great among you must be servant. And we all know John's verse, he must increase uh, and we must decrease. And so I, I, I like to say, you, you must be so far from, from being proud you must not only be humble, you must be unproud. <laughs> Everything that is the antithesis of pride. God cannot stand pride. And pride gets in the way of everything God is doing. Because he wants to, to work through us and sing greatly through us and play greatly through us. And we're interested in getting credit for it. And God says, listen, either you want to work with me and do great things or you want to do them by yourself. And God says, okay, if you want to do it by yourself and be proud, bye-bye. I'll see you later. So we want to have that quality of humility ever in us. I mean, we, we must be known as a humble person, all right? That's a great thing. Second finger, covenant. It's the ring finger. For those of us who are uh, married, it's the, your ring finger. It's the covenant. So we are in covenant with our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we are just friends. It's not just girlfriend, boyfriend, on today, off tomorrow, you know. <laughs> This is covenant. We're in covenant. We are bought with a price, God's word says. We're bought with a price. So, and um, Psalm 110 says, we are his volunteers. So we are working for the Lord, but it is out of a relationship that is covenantal. Okay? When I married my wife many years ago, uh, we parted with all other friends. In, in, in terms of, I, I, I didn't have any more um, um, lady friends that I that I that I would con, con, confide in. She she didn't have any more male friends. We cut those because we said we are not going to be with each other. We're going to leave and cleave, as um, Genesis says. So we cleave to to each other as a couple, and then there's nothing that that will make us leave that. And so too with, with God. Once we have covenanted our life to Him. There's no sin that can tempt us away or pull us away. We're not interested in the other guy. <laughs> Satan has his own crew. We are not interested in what he will throw our way. We're interested only in our covenantal Father, our Father God, Yahweh. We just love you, God. We just want to worship. And so that, that expression must be a life thing. This isn't something which we can put on before a service and take off after service and go do our own thing. There's no more doing our own thing. Doing our own thing is doing God's thing. And then, so, so this, this is, the, is the life which we now put on. So that's the co covenant finger. And the next finger is the longest one. It is the dominant one. It's called the kingdom of God. So Matthew 6 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. If you find yourself seeking first your church leadership, or seeking to minister to people, or seeking any other agenda other than the kingdom of God, the broad kingdom of God, you'll find yourself wavering and getting into some problems. God says, seek first the, my kingdom. Now, he, yes, he, he will add all sorts of things to you. And, um, and I don't, I don't get mixed up now by saying, well, I want these things, so let me seek the kingdom of God. Just seek the kingdom of God. So as a worship leader, as a psalmist, Number one goal is to seek the kingdom of God and his fulfillment in that area. God, what, what do you want to do in my city? And not just my local church, but in my city, in my nation. What, what are you going to do globally, Lord God? We want to bring Jesus into, into the city. We want to bring the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, 
Lord God. Um, Sundays or, what, or whatever day your church meets or your cell group meets or your youth group meets, we want worship of the Lord God to be the highest thing. So we're going to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and let Him just lead and just guide us. Seek first. So that is the dominant message which we have. Now the next finger is the pointer finger. This is the prophetic finger. So Paul says, seek the gifts, but even more that you will prophesy. Now the prophetic gift is one that brings exhortation, edification, and comfort. And doesn't music do that? Doesn't music do that? So we're in, we're in the prophetic realm. Music, worship, it all fits under the prophetic realm. And so God is speaking. That is, that is why it is so important that we understand the tabernacle of David and the Ark of the Covenant, which is in the middle of that, because God is speaking from between the wings of the cherubim. Uh, and so, so God is speaking, and how we interpret that now in, in the New Covenant days is prophetic music, prophetic singing, prophetic instrumental, prophetic, prophetic, prophetic. So God is speaking, and God is also listening. So now we can now sing over people. We, we, can, we can sing God's words of healing over people. And we, and we don't have to pray. We can sing, because singing is our prayer. And God has given us that gift. So we are prophetic in nature. Don't ever forget that. Don't think that you're just singing words and so it's just lyrics and then chords. So practice the prophetic. When you get with your team, practice the prophetic. You're prophetic people. It's part of our character. It's part of our nature. It's part of who God has made us to be. The thumb, finally. It's the one finger that touches all of the others. The thumb is our lifestyle. So our life has got to be one of humility. Our life has got to be in covenant with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our life has got to point to the kingdom of God. This is not a Sunday thing. This is not a Saturday thing or a Friday thing. This is an all week, 365 days a year. We must point. Our whole existence must point. Point people to the kingdom of God. He says, seek first the kingdom. So our life must be pointing to the kingdom of God. And then finally, our life must be prophetic. There's never a time you turn that thing off. You, you just live in, I, I call it live in the zone. Live in the zone. God is always speaking. Let's stay in touch. Psalmists, worship leaders, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's, let's make our, our lives reflect what we do. This isn't something we turn on and then off again. Let's just live it. Let's be the character of Christ. Take care. Talk to you later.